Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration on meaningful use, how to achieve the core and menu measures. This video demonstration will cover menu measure number one, drug formulary checks. Let's get started. First, let's open up the drug formulary menu measure from the MTBC website. This is the Eligible Professional Meaningful Use Menu Measure number 1 out of 10. Implement Drug Formulary Checks. And the measure for this objective is to have it enabled throughout the EHR reporting period. And there is an exclusion for any provider who writes fewer than 100 prescriptions during the course of your 90-day EHR reporting period. The attestation requirement for this is a yes-no exclusion attestation. If you choose the drug formulary check as one of your menu measures, then you will attest yes to having this functionality enabled, unless you're excluded from this requirement because you're a provider who writes less than 100 prescriptions in the course of 90 days. And let's take a look at this formulary requirement from the MTBC EMR. Drug formularies are directly implemented in the MTBC EMR at the time of e-prescribing. Let's go ahead and open up a patient's record and send a prescription for that patient. We'll find our patient using the patient search functionality and double click on the account. Next we'll go to the charts section and we'll go over to the plan of care. When we go to prescribe a medication for any patient, we click into the medicine section and are immediately presented with the drug formulary. Here we have all of the available benefit plans for this patient. If there were multiple plans available for this patient, we would show multiple rows. Here we can see the patient's demographic information, the payer's name, the member ID, the group number, the group name, and the patient's eligibility for retail pharmacies, or mail order pharmacies. If we wish to use this pharmacy benefit plan, we can go ahead and click Select. Now that we've enabled that pharmacy benefit plan for this patient, let's take a look at what happens when we go to prescribe a medication. If we want to prescribe Crestor for this patient, we'll simply put Crestor into the search and find our results. Here we can see that Crestor is a non-formulary medication for this patient's insurance. If we go ahead and select Crestor 20 milligram tab, we will now be presented with a series of payer specified alternatives and therapeutic alternatives for this medication. These results will be ordered by their formulary status. Our therapeutic alternatives are also ordered by formulary status with the non-formulary medications down at the bottom. Many insurances will also provide copay information and the current tier for that medication. Selecting a payer specified or therapeutic alternative simply done by double clicking on the medication of your choice and adding that onto our e-prescribing window. We can now go ahead and complete this order by completing our quantity and day supply and refills. Clicking OK to submit this to the patient's pharmacy. The drug formulary system is automatically activated for any provider using the MTBC EHR.